feeling really annoyed today. Just trying to get out to my house. My car is doing so bad now. Can't hold on to the charge long enough for me to even turn off the car, gas up, and then turn it back on again. Probably gonna have to take initiative and try and fix this issue with my car sooner than I would have liked. I really would rather get my house dried in, um, but uh, yeah, if I can't get there, that's an issue. Uh, I am just so done with car issues right now. Like, it was, it's funny, even just driving the van, it feels like such a luxury just to turn your key and have your car start. So, I don't know. Maybe God wants me to become a mechanic with all these car problems. I, I don't know. It's uh, it's pretty annoying at this point. Alright, so I'm finally back again. Feeling a little bit better today. Apart from dealing with the aforementioned car issues. But today, the plan is to take down this piece here. Since I learned that I have enough to uh, overlap them just a little bit, I'm going to take it down, put it on a new piece, inset it about half an inch to an inch inside of this piece here. That way they marry up a lot better. I am just so dissatisfied with butting them up against each other that I, I am happy to do the work twice even though I hate doing that. This is just it's so ugly and unacceptable to me. I, I can't not do it. So they're gonna, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to also take down this piece here and cut this piece short right here. That way I can make room for the shorter um, flyer after lower casing piece um, that will go there. Because these ones, and then these pieces here, since they're already used, I'll throw on the back here. Since those won't be seen as often. So I don't think that that should be much of a problem. Um, I don't know exactly how far I'm going to get today, but anything on top of just getting those removed, I'll consider gravy. So... Let's get going. When the girls ask me what I did today, I'm gonna tell them I was picking Elsa's boogers all day. So one thing here that doesn't seem right is that this fly rafter cover here is about, I don't know, like a half inch longer, even though it's touching the top lip here, it's about a half inch longer than it should be to cover the soffit here. I believe that's because this is beveled here um, and I'm guessing that these were made to fit the size, the original size of this board here rather than the size that it's supposed to be after the cut. So I'm going to have to ask my supplier if this is how it's supposed to be or, or what. Okay, redid this joint here. That just looks so much better. It's kind of dark, I think, from some of the caulking that was remaining. Uh, when I was rubbing it, got a little dark, so it's still visible from pretty far away, but I'm going to, uh, I'll take care of that at some point. And either paint it or something like that, and it should disappear pretty Okay, first thing we gotta do here is open up these hems here. I would prefer to have a flathead screwdriver, but this is just what I got to work with right now. What I did here was cut this corner out because it's gonna compress in here. Uh, I didn't cut the corner out down there and uh, it caused that little bit of a bow. It just gets a little extra tight, so I cut out the corner in this one. Should sock it in there a bit better. This one will sock it into the next piece, and then I'm just gonna hold this up here and make sure that it indeed does uh, Yeah, that goes in there pretty good. And that line looks pretty darn exactly where I wanted it, so I'll cut that out real quick. Let me slide this mother joker in there. All right, great. See, that looks great. That's how you overlap a joint. And that turned out pretty nicely. 
And now the one thing you want to consider, that one thing I'm considering is, is that I'm going to be viewing this wall from over there most of the time. So all of my joints, all the seams are only visible from this angle. That way everything looks a lot smoother, um, a lot smoother from where you're going to be viewing it the vast majority of the time. I think that's all we need there. I think it says not to let this touch your finger. See if you see from down here, you can tell you can't really see the seams as much since I lap them all with the side closest to us over the top. time to wrap up for the day so I think I'm gonna call it there yeah not too bad I, I like the way it looks yeah we'll see how connecting the other side to this spot here since it uh, to the front fly rafter covers goes just cuz I had to kind of guess what the gap is gonna be yeah everything everything is lining up You're looking nice I'm excited <laughs> Okay, hello! It's very cold. I am very cold, but we gotta get some stuff done today. So Kevin was in here ripping up the carpet um, <clears throat> and doing some other stuff. And so now he's with the girls and I came in here to remove all of the window fixtures. So I'm taking down all the blinds. They're almost all of them are broken. And if they're not broken, they're like stained. So we're gonna get new ones. And then they have these, um, I was gonna point over here, but there's no window. Um, they have like these weird like fixtures over them. I wonder if it's to block light, but it just really dates them. So we're taking them off. It's kind of like little boxes. So let's get started. <laughs> How I said there's no window, but there's two here. So those are the boxes I was talking about. So. Okay, so I have to show you something funny. So by the bedside, there are these things. They are cup holders. And Kevin just thinks they are the coolest thing next to sliced bread. I already took that one down. I think I just might take them down and um, lose them. Um, last night, I was able to take down a majority of the things around the window. So I'm gonna remove the remaining window coverings. And then um, there's a ton of debris on the ground. I'll show you in a second too, from ripping up a lot of the flooring and carpet and a bunch of like screws and stuff. So I'm gonna be sweeping all that up and then looking to see if there's any staples sticking up in the ground to kind of hammer them in because Kevin's gonna start putting in the flooring tomorrow, I think, which is really exciting. We are doing this a little bit backwards, like a lot of people before, they strip the flooring and then they paint and then they put down new flooring. But because um, this is the only week that Kevin can kind of do it at the moment, we just figure Let's do it now and then we'll just tarp it off really good when it comes to painting. So a little backwards, but it'll be fine. So let me show you what we're doing. I'm gonna remove those and then I'll show you what we got. See, there's a lot of stuff on the ground and it's freezing. So we have heaters going, but um, I'm just gonna move uh, all this stuff and sweep. It's dirty up there too. We're building new stairs. So let's get started.
Hey everybody, that's it for this week. Sorry, it ended kind of a little bit abruptly there. I actually filmed a whole bunch of myself putting in the flooring, um, but all of that got deleted. I'm a GoPro noob still, so I'm learning about how that works, and I guess you have to reformat them all the time, which I did not do, and I lost all of it. So, going forward, I'm gonna try and remember to do that. Yeah, we got uh, um, most of the upper bedroom area done. I think I've got some video footage of that I can show here, but we'll get that working next week and continue going forward and making progress. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you thought this was entertaining or insightful, please consider hitting that thumbs up button as it helps us a great deal. If you're not afraid to go against the grain to pursue freedom and happiness, then consider hitting that subscribe. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.